Hello everyone, this is our robotics project for ICS 491 at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, uh, Fall 2008. Uh, so here we have two robots and each one is designed exactly the same. And as you would notice, there is a light shining on a ball. The object of the game is for the other robot to push the ball off of the opposing robot using the arm or the javelin as we call it, jutting out the front there and once the ball is pushed off, the robot is declared the winner. We wrote this program using Microsoft Robotics Studio using the Visual Programming Language, abbreviated VPL, and the robots are voice activated and we can either have them run in autonomous mode or we can have them run in voice command mode or an assisted autonomous in which we can give commands for them to perform for one second before they go back into autonomous mode. This is useful for getting the robots unstuck in case they get into a situation where they uh, are butting into each other and are in a deadlock. All right, so we're gonna do a demonstration of the autonomous mode. Uh, so here we go. Blue, start game. Red, start game. So here we are, the two robots are attempting to find each other. Once they do, uh, if they do, let's see here. We might have to move them a little closer. Uh, I forgot to point this out, but there is an ultrasound sensor on the front of each robot. It's that thing that with the two circles, and what the ultrasound sensor does is that it sends an ultrasound sense signal out, which bounces a sound wave off, and if it detects the other robot, it will charge towards it. By the way, these are LEGO Mindstorm NXTs. These kits cost about $300 each for a starter kit, which is, I believe, what we have. The kits are provided by a professor. Okay. So here we go, the two robots are attempting to find each other and knock the balls off. So if the robots get too close to the other robots, they will attempt to back off. Oh, there we go. So one of the robots knocked the ball off. Well, one more time. Again. Red, stop moving. Red, you win. Okay, so uh, because the two robots cannot communicate with each other, we have to explicitly tell them that one of them won or not in order for the robots to stop. The reason for this is because we're running the VPL program on two different laptops. And in order to have them communicate between each other, we have to figure out how to manipulate the Bluetooth stack or what have you. So we decided to simplify the process and just tell the robots when they have won. So after one of the robots has won, we can, um, as you can tell, the light on that one is still on, but the light on this one is off, indicating that this is the robot that lost. So what we do is we tell the robot to reset itself in order to start a new game. Blue, reset game. And as you can see, the light has turned back on. All right, now we are going to try the uh, manual voice command mode. As you can see, my voice thing has kind of the, the, my voice calibration isn't that great, so sometimes it picks up my speech, even though I didn't tell it to do anything. Blue, stop moving. All right, so let's give this a try. You ready? All right, let's do this. Okay. Red. Blue. Left. Blue, go forward. Red, turn left. Blue, stop moving. Okay, you ready? Blue, go Red, back. Forward. Blue, go back. Red, go forward. Blue, go forward. Red, turn left. Blue, turn left. Red, move forward. Blue, go forward. Oh. Ooh. Oh, it's a tie. Oh, so we, we tied in that game. So as, the, as you can see, the robots can easily be manipulated by voice. So I can say, blue, go back. Oh. Blue, go back. Blue, stop moving. Blue, turn left. Blue, turn right. And as you can see, the robot obeys my commands. Blue, stop moving. All right. So the last mode we're going to try is um, is um, assisted autonomous. And as you'll see, we can give it a command, which the robot will perform for about a second. Uh, blue, stop moving. Red, reset game. Blue, reset game. So the robots will perform a command um, for, that we give it for about a second before it goes back into autonomous mode. So let's give that a try. Blue, start game. Red, start game. Blue, go back. Red, go forward. Oh, blue, go forward. Red, go back. 
Blue, start game. Blue, turn right. So as you can see, I turned right slightly and now it's going back to left. Blue, turn right. Blue, go back. Blue, go back. Oh, there we go. Red, stop moving. All right, and that is our project.